the AI character does damage to the first person character, this is how it happens. I get hit by it. That's still telling me that there's a blue t blueprint test error. Whatever. It worked the other times. <laughs> I just literally tested it. Anyways, um, this is for my own reference. But I, I don't. I guarantee that somebody will get use out of it. So inside of the sphere, there's this hit on component, um, on component hit thing already going on that happens to make an explosion and it will reset the blueprint itself. So all that is taken care of, but I also want on component begin overlap, which is a separate event, and I want this to only happen once, and it will refer to damage player, which is another blueprint that here I'll begin on overlap again, but this time it's a box. Cast a first person pl player, and then it will re variable health, which I don't quite remember what that exact is called. I guess it's just a variable, I guess, that I created down here. And then a multiplier, which ends up being a subtractor, which will go right to your set health. It's just that easy. <laughs> I only got stuck on it for two or three days. That's how it seems to go. It goes pretty smooth for a while, and then... I get stuck on something. Look at that guy waiting up there for me. This gun sucks. It's one of the first things we're going to want to replace. Does he walk after me? No, he doesn't know I'm there. Stupid robot balls. Oh, I'm gonna die. What happens when I die? Nothing. I'm just walking around dead. Anyways. Um, I'm clicking the thing, and it wasn't doing a thing. That's all I wanted to show you. I got it working, and it's awesome. Uh, I'm going to go do some more Erpily.com things and do Erpily.com uh, additional word. I'm very tired. I want to go to bed. Goodbye, you.